the sunshine. How are you doing today, huh? <laughs> you didn't know. We used to sing a song in church when I was growing up. I haven't heard it in a, in a lot of years now. What a beautiful day for the Lord to come again. This is one of those days. Of course, any day is the right day or a good day for that. But fall day, it was uh, below freezing last night. There was a first, first snow flurries of the year fell here this morning. When I went outside early this morning, uh, down were the big white flakes. Beautiful, warming up now, the sun is out, water melting off the roofs. Calm, look at the water down there. I sawed up those few sticks there yesterday, hauled away the boughs. Sticks were from uh, those ones that were growing in the garden that we cut down. Excavator is still there. The old one, we still haven't got the other one in. That might take a, a couple weeks, we'll see. Working on yard prep here. Right now, I've got to go. Those, uh, those snow flurries this morning made me think we better switch out the, the tires on the truck. Now, I don't have studded tires, but these are 20 inch, absurdly wide, and they're bald. They're gone, they're my summer exclusive tires. I also have the 17 inch factory wheels. Those are the ones I put on uh, for the winter, and those have pretty new Goodyear Wranglers on them that are pristine condition. So, I'm not gonna invest in a set of four studs for this truck. But the idea of having 17s, a much skinnier tire, Lots of tread left is definitely the, the winter option here. Now those tires won't be able to go back on. We'll have to get new summers for those 20s if we're going to put that on back, those back on next year because they're just toast. I always have a quick inspection here. Just while I have it up, the wheel off, check my brake pads. And I can see that my brake pads are getting uh, a little bit worn. I haven't had to redo the brakes on this truck yet since I've had it. Um, but they're, they're getting a little thin. Rotors are okay. Discs are okay. So nothing sticking. We're good. Now although these 17s are nice, they just don't match up to those uh, those 20 inch chromes. Not in my opinion anyways.
check. Yeah, pads are getting real thin. you don't have a ratcheting torque wrench, you are missing out. Also, if you don't have a torque wrench at all, you are severely over torquing your lug nuts, I guarantee it. I think that looks pretty good. What do you think? It's not the 20s and chrome, but uh, it's nice. And the truck sure does like the lighter wheel. It feels nicer on the steering wheel. Everything just feels a little more snappy to have the lighter wheels on there. Day is winding down. We've got a lot of chores done. It's been a great day. And the weather, man, just incredible. What do you think of my rack here? I fabbed up for the Ranger. Pretty happy with it. I used steel, not aluminum. I used just what I had there. The design is not exactly, if I had my perfect image in mind, not exactly how, but 
I built it like I said with the with the stuff I had in time because I was able my brother came into a couple spare tires just tires my dad had a couple spare rims up there so I took one of dad's rims one of brother's tires man it didn't cost me a cent that's the way to do things but uh, we have it mounted here on a wing nut so I don't need any tools I don't have my tool set set up yet to actually I need a jack and a and a wheel wrench and stuff but uh, really nice that'll fit on the back and the front got a nice high rail here I'm hoping to put like a chainsaw mount maybe an axe mount or something a mount for a high lift jack on there really happy with it I'm curious here, and I, I've wondered this a few times. I watch a lot of different home sitting channels, Sawyer channels, woods channels, different stuff, man out, you know, getting firewood and professionals. I've never, outside of local here in Newfoundland, see anyone use one of these, what we call a pulp hook, P-U-L-P, -P, pulp wood, pulp hook. And here, I mean, every man has one. You wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't go at the wood without one. Just a steel loop, grab handle, a hook, and you can see we have a replaceable tips here because they do break up because these are hardened steel with a little burr on there. It doesn't hook back around like a fish hook, so you can get it out with just a little twist, that's all it takes. But junks that you would normally need two hands to get on because you can't just uh, palm the end of it, big junks you can grab up with one hand. So you can take small junk and a big junk. Actually, I think we'll, we'll just leave that one for the splitter. Just about to back this up to the workshop there and pack it in the furnace room so this can dry out. This is, uh, I burn oil, but I always want to have a backup uh, reserve for the winter in case the power goes out or we have a real few cold days and I don't want to, you know, burn up a lot of oil. I can throw in some wood and it's just cheap, big heat for a few days. But I was just thinking here as I was at this and I, I often do think uh, whenever I'm at the packing up wood or in doing a little bit of hunting. Oh, my little toddler's up in the window waving. Or uh, or we tore down that property there, there or we're working on a project, building a greenhouse. Anytime I do something, I'm thinking, man, wouldn't Pop have loved to, to be at this? Wouldn't Pop love to be here uh, cutting up this bit of wood or packing in this wood? Or... And when I was thinking about it just then, it kind of hit me. Except Pop, I think Pop just, just loved living. <laughs> Anything I talk about almost involves work. And uh, man, he just, just loved it all.